This is Tom Black, Super Chemist. I'll show you a database that uh, has hundreds of salts and the solubilities for it. Um, but let me go into something else down there on the bar bottom right corner there. Uh, the place I'm talking about is Wikipedia. And I did a video about azeotropes, a database for azeotropes where you can punch in up to three chemicals and uh, it'll tell you if there's a binary azeotrope, a ternary azeotrope, or no azeotrope at all, and then it tells you the compositions and, you know, boiling points and all that. Uh, Wikipedia also has, it's called azeotrope tables, and it'll give you the boiling point, boiling point for the azeotrope, if there is one, uh, percentage by weight, uh, specific gravity, they do have some ternary azeotropes on there. It's not a big database like the, the uh, like the database in the video where I talk about azeotropes. It, it's not that big, but it's something just in case you know if you can't find it on the one you can look on there. Now the solubility table I'm talking about is on Wikipedia.com. I, I don't know why people are always asking, you know, like how do you make something or how do you do this? Uh, it's always on Wikipedia. You know what I mean? You want to know the boiling point of, of something? You know, uh, methanol, you know, uh, punch in methanol into Wikipedia. And on the right hand side, at the top, there's a chart that tells you stuff like boiling point, specific gravity, what it's soluble in, what it's not soluble in, uh, that kind of stuff. But there's a, also on Wikipedia, you can see right here, solubility table. You punch that in, it'll look like this. You'll have an alphabet up on top, and you'll have a list going. You'll say substance, formula. I don't have all the degrees down, but it goes 0 degrees, 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees, increments of 10 degrees all the way up to 100 degrees Celsius. And then it'll give you grams per 100 milliliters of water that it's soluble in. I didn't do it for the first one, but the second one, look. This would be 0 degrees. This would be 10 degrees, and then it would go on and on, okay? Uh, there's hundreds of salts. And as you can see, actinium, 3 hydroxide. That's not a common salt. So, I mean, a lot of them are common salts, you know, just binary salts or whatever. Uh, but there are some unusual salts. And, uh, like I said, there's hundreds of them. The reason why they have the alphabet up here is because it's it's so long to scroll. You can't scroll through it, but if you have a salt that starts with the letter P, you're going to want to just click on the letter up here, and then it'll start you on that list of the P's. Otherwise, you'll be scrolling for half an hour to get down to the P's. Now, another solubility thing they have on Wikipedia, you can plug in solubility chart, okay? And what it does is it gives you a little grid, gives you cations going up and down, anions going uh, horizontal. Uh, and then uh, listen, like looky here, you got lithium, and you have fluoride. See, right where they go, there's an SS. It'll tell you, just, it's just a little paragraph that tells you what the letters are for. SS is most likely slightly soluble. Uh, S would be soluble. Um, but you can see sodium, and then you just connect them to where they go, and it'll tell you with, if that salt is soluble. Sodium chloride would be here, sodium iodide, lithium chloride, lithium iodide, and it goes on. I'm not showing the whole chart, obviously, um, but it's nice and helpful just to look it over or whatever. Um, but it's a nice little database. Uh, Well, I have a young here. I wanted to talk about Wikipedia because they do have so much information on there. People downplay it. I used to downplay it, you know, or think it was stupid because anybody can just add stuff to it. But the truth is that uh, they don't have as many mistakes as you think. I mean, everybody. I mean, even the Encyclopedia Britannica. Every book has a you know a certain percentage of mistakes, uh, and Wikipedia does not have. Really, compared to the Encyclopedia the Britannica, it supposedly has less mistakes. You know what I mean? One has like 4%, one has 5% mistakes or something. You know, I don't know what it is. Um, 
And you can, I actually went in and changed something on it, put something in there that was incorrect, only because it was incorrect in the first place. Uh, so you can put misinformation in there. I keep meaning to look up the real thing and put it in there. Uh, anyways, a lot of stuff in there. How do you make something? You well, look, you know, you want to know how to make blah blah blah. Go to Wikipedia, type in blah blah blah. Okay. They have you know a table of contents. Go down to the table of contents where it says production. Click on production or just scroll down to where production is. It'll tell you 50 ways to make it. You know what I mean? You want to know the boiling point of something? Put it into Wikipedia. You know, like I said, on the right hand side, it'll tell you PKA, it'll tell you all kinds of information, solubilities, uh, molar mass. You know, why figure out molar mass when you can just look it up on Wikipedia? You know, like if you have something that has a lot of a atoms in it, you know what I mean, to make up the compound. You don't want to look at all them up to see what the weight, weight, molecular weights are, and then add them all together. You can just go to Wikipedia, punch in the thing, and look on the thing. It'll tell you molar mass. It'll also tell you on in that chart if it's, uh, most times it'll tell you, not all times. It'll tell you if it has uh, any kind of water uh, in it, you know what I mean, like the water of uh, crystallization. Um, it'll tell you how many, and it'll tell you uh, stuff about that, about the... Uh, the, uh, you know, because you could have four waters on it, you could have three waters of crystallization, you could have two, you know, on the same compound. You know, there could be several different types of water crystallization depending on <coughs> how many water molecules are on there. Uh, you know, like I said, what is soluble in, what's not soluble in, boiling point, freezing point, all kinds of stuff. Wikipedia is the greatest thing for a chemist. You know what I mean? There's so much information on there. Sometimes I just read for hours and hours. Looking up chemicals and reading everything it got to say about it. You know? I'll look up sulfuric acid. I don't care. I, I know what sulfuric acid is. But you always, you know, so especially sulfuric acid, it's got a long whatever. You know, just for review. Just to, you know, it's a great, great source of information. They got a lot of databases on there. Uh, also, you got, like, uh, Ethanol, you know, any kind of chemical you can go to, it's, I forget what it's called, let me see. Database, uh, there's, a, there's an MSDS, basically what I'm saying, on Wikipedia for all kinds of chemicals. You know, if you want the MSDS for, but it's not called MSDS, it's called something else. I'll have to put that in the description, maybe. Because um, I don't have an editor, so I'm trying to keep this flowing. Um, but I think that's all I got to say. Like I said, this is a great database. You want to know something soluble, how soluble it is. And you don't just want it at room temperature. I hate that when you, you know, I want to know from 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, all the way up to 100. I want to know increments. I don't want, you know, this tells you everything like that. So anyways, you all have a great day. Always remember, science is great.